Hey guys, welcome to the Cobra's Den and today I am going to look at two absolutely beautiful coins from the dark side. These are two coins created by PowerCoin in a series of three or maybe four coins in total. The first one is Dark Checkmate and the second one is Dark Royal Flush. Now if you saw one of my last videos I went out to Italy and I went to PowerCoin and did an interview. If you haven't seen that video, do take a look. And in that interview, we had a quick chat about these two coins. And the story behind these is something else. So let's take a deeper look. And here they both are. Dark Checkmate and Dark Royal Flush. Two games I absolutely love, chess and poker. So we'll take a look at the first one, Dark Checkmate. And I'll tell you a little story behind that. So let's start with Dark Checkmate. Now before I go into the dark and mystical stories of this coin, I will show you that obviously it comes in a beauty, beautiful floating window. And as you turn it round onto the reverse, you get a few more of the details. Now, the mintage of these are 499 pieces. So, a very, very limited mintage. And the coins are Palau 2021, $20 face value, silver, 999 fine, 3 ounces, 55 millimeter, and obsidian black. I'll explain more about that obsidian black in a moment. But first, I'm going to take this out of its case and we're gonna have a closer look. And here it is. This is a phenomenal coin. Dark checkmate, let's have a deeper look. Now the story behind this coin is that humanity or a human was challenging death to a game of chess um, and put up his soul as part of the bet. And in the chess game, we have here death absolutely beautifully detailed with a king and pawns laying there on the chessboard. Now in a moment I'm going to take this out because I really want to show you how obsidian black has been used on this coin and the coloration shines and simmers in light. Um, but as we turn the coin we see that chess makes the move and wins. And the human hand just here, slamming down onto the chessboard um, because obviously he has lost. And up here, we see the Palau mark uh, showing that it is a coin. Um, but I'm going to take this out of the capsule now and show you in a lot more detail because that's when we're really going to see what this is all about. And here we go with this amazing three ounce coin. Now, obsidian black is the darkest black you can get. And that's what's been used on this coin. And if you look at it, as you change it around in the light, you can see how different shades of black have been used on the chessboard, on the pieces, on the Grim Reaper or Death. And the white of the hand and the chess pieces contrasts it absolutely beautifully and if we take a closer look here we have the words if i can focus in on that you can't cheat death now that is very significant to the series and how it moves on and here we have as i say death playing the human and uh as we turn round on the coin Look at that. It's just phenomenal. Just everything. We have a high relief coin. Um, we have detail like you wouldn't believe on the pieces. And here, chess puts the human into checkmate. Uh, the human loses and slams down onto the board and sends all the pieces and the Palau mark flying up into the air. This is a phenomenal coin. The detail is just unbelievable and look at the hand you can see how high relief that is um i i really can't explain until you get this in hand how beautiful a coin this actually is 
And when I saw this out in Italy, I was breathtaking and the story behind it was brilliant. And we will move on to the second coin where the story continues. And that's something we don't realise when we see these coins, that the art makers and the designers and even the CEOs in, of the companies have a lot to do with these and actually have a whole story behind them. They're not just, oh, let's make a coin. Yep, let's put death on a chessboard. There's a whole story behind it. So as I say, don't forget the words on this one. You can't cheat death. Let's move on to the second coin. And here we have the second coin in the series, and this is the Dark Royal Flush. Now, the story behind this one is even more powerful, and the wording carries on round the side of the coin. Let's take this one out and have a closer look. But before I do that, there's the stats again on this one. And again, 499 pieces, obsidian black, three ounce, three nines fine silver. Okay, now the story continues on this second coin. And we have Death playing the human again in a hand of poker. Now in this hand, the human has a royal flush of spades. And that is a bloody high hand. And he thinks, yes, I've got it. And he bets his soul. He bets his soul against Death. Now don't forget the words of the first one, which were, you can't cheat Death. We'll get to the words of this one. But as we turn it round, oh, and I'll just show you on the front very quickly as well. Notice the ace there and how it sort of seems to be spinning. So all the cards are normal, but that ace there, there's something going on with it. And as we turn it round, we see that death is grabbing the vial with the human's soul in it. And the funny thing is, if you look at his hand, he has four aces. Well, how can that be? Because if the ace was being held by the human on his hand of a royal flush, how has it gone into this? Well, don't forget, on the first one, on the first side, we saw the ace spinning. It was teleporting into death's hand. We're going to open it up and see what the words say. Now, before I carry on with that story, let's have a closer look here. Uh, we'll start with the front. And look at that card, as I said, spinning there, uh, teleporting or getting ready to teleport into Death's hand. Now, look at this coin. Again, the high relief is absolutely amazing. The Ascidian black is done with different shades of black, which really contrasts this coin. And as the light hits it in different directions, different elements light up. Like you can see the chip sitting on the side there. The back of Death's cards just shining away. Absolutely beautiful. The hands of the human, really shiny and dark and black. And then we have the soul sitting in the vial. And then as I say, as we turn it round, again, the high relief, just look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. As we turn it around, the cards have changed in the hand of the human. And he throws his cards down. And as we can see, he has a 10 there, I believe. Uh, a 10 of spades, which ruins his royal flush. And the ace of spades has moved into death's hands. And everything has gone flying again as the fist comes down there of the human and sends everything up in the air. And even when you look at this this shield of Palau, it is not even flat on the coin. It is raised on one side to show everything flying up in the air and death grabs the bottle with the soul in it. Now, if you remember on the first coin, the words were, you can't cheat death. Well, the words on this one are, but death can cheat you. Now, I just think that is a massively brilliant follow-on from the first coin. And I have been told in good faith that there is going to be at least a third coin, if not a fourth. And I was told that the story must continue. Now, this is seriously a superb coin. But apart from that, the story behind it 
just makes it even more valuable to me. I love these coins. And here we have them side by side, out of their floating windows. The first one, Dark Checkmate, and the second one, of course, the Dark Royal Flush. Immense coins, immense story. The actual technology used to make these coins is amazing. And this is where we're going with these collectibles now. They are just going on another level. I can't wait for the third coin to come out. Let me know in the comments what you think of these. Let's just see, flip these over so you can see them again. And don't forget, this one here, you can't cheat death. I love those words. You can't cheat death. And there we go. Death wins that chess game and everything goes flying. And the second one here, but death can cheat you as he steals that ace of spades, puts it in his hand and grabs the bottle with the soul in it. And there they are in their floating frames again. Now, guys, these are exceptional coins and they are available from PowerCoin. But do remember, these are not bullion coins. And I had someone in the auction recently say to me, oh, my God, that sold for £100 an ounce. Uh, that's insane. And my way of trying to explain this to people is there are different things when stacking and collecting coins. Stacking coins, you're looking for your basic bullion coins. These are artwork as well. And a lot of work goes into these. These are not cheap to produce. Now, you wouldn't look at a Mona Lisa painting and go, well, the canvas is worth £50 and the paint was worth about £20 and a bit of labour, that shouldn't be more than £100. You don't do that. You look at a piece of art like that and it's valued over time and it's valued for what it is. And you have to look at these pieces in the same way. These are collectibles. These are art. They have a low mintage, 499 um, so they're rarer. Um, and they get very collectible and they are absolutely immense pieces. So please, guys, do understand that when I'm showing these pieces, these are not bullion pieces and you cannot be put off by the price as in, well, that's not worth it because it definitely, definitely is. It's not for everyone. It definitely is not for everyone. These are for collectors. So you have to be able to differentiate and separate the fact that there is stacking and there is collectibles but these are two of the most beautiful collectible coins i have ever seen again let me know in the comments what you think i think they're great they're available at powercoin i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like share and subscribe this is the cobra stacker signing out of the cobra's den